We'll continue our introduction to Audacity by importing an existing sound file and saving it as a project. Audacity can import WAV, AIFF, and MP3 files. Installing the FFmpeg library will allow you to import other file types, like the Windows audio format WMA. The audio you import might be a clip you captured on a recorder or a music track you found online. If you're comfortable dragging and dropping, that's an easy way to import a file into the Audacity window. An alternative is to go to the File menu and choose Import Audio. We'll cover recording and editing in other tutorials, but first you're going to learn about saving a project. Normally that's not a big deal, but Audacity is different from other programs. When you save a project, Audacity creates two things a .aup file and a data folder. Make sure you keep the file and the folder. Here's what happens when you try to open an AUP file without the data folder. One final tip before we finish. It's a good idea to create a project folder that contains your unedited sound files, the AUP file, and the data folder. If you're using licensed music, save the credits as a note in a text file. That's it for importing an audio file and saving a project.